Hey guys, Mr. T here. This is another video. This one is on miscellaneous factorization. So we've now looked at five different types of factorization in isolation. So one after the other, separately. But that gives you a false impression because you've done questions where you know what kind of factorization you needed to use. You're not always going to be told the method of factorization you need to use. If you're given a quadratic to factorize, you need to decide on the method yourself. So the flowchart below can help you decide without trying each method randomly. There's a better order to do it in um, that can get you the answer quicker. So firstly, look at all of the terms and see if you've got any common factors that you can remove because you want to try and get um, the variable um, squared um, without a number in front of it. So start from remove common factors. Next, if there's four terms, try to group it in pairs. Um, and factorize that way and then um, move on and then once you've got a nice little quadratic that you're used to try sum and product first after that try difference of two squares after that try perfect squares now why do we do it in this order unlike the impression it gives you to try sum and product last in the book you try sum and product first because half the time if you do sum and product first um, it gives you the same answer as these two anyway so always try sum and product first. It can get you the answer quicker. All right. So let's apply that flowchart to these questions. I don't know what kind of factorization I need to use. So we need to decide ourselves. And the best way to do that is to apply this flowchart. So step one, remove common factors. Are there common factors in all of these terms? Yes, two is a factor of all of these numbers. So if I remove 2 um, from the first term, what would I need to times by 2 to get 2x squared? x squared. What would I need to times by 2 to get 2x? x. What would I need to times by 2 to get negative 12? Negative 6. Now we've got a quad, uh, quadratic, a trinomial here, quadratic trinomial, because there's three numbers there, that we can try to factorize. If there's four terms, try to group it in pairs. There's not four terms there, there's three. So try sum and product. So what are the factors of negative 6? 1 times by 6, 2 times by 3. Any one of those could be negative by itself. What is the number in front of x? 1. So we need to find a pair of these numbers that's going to add up to 1. Negative 1 plus 6, um, no good. 1 plus negative 6, no good. Um, negative 2 plus 3, or 2 plus negative 3. Well, 2 plus negative 3 is going to be negative 1, so that's no good. But negative 2 plus 3 does make positive 1. So our pair is going to be negative 2, and b is going to be 3. So we factorize the quadratic in the brackets to be x take 2 and x plus 3. And we need to remember that we remove the, com we remove the common factor of 2 there. If we want to double check that that's correct, let's foil out these brackets. x times by x is x squared. Outers plus 3x. Inners take 2x. Negative 2 times by 3, negative 6. Um, 2x squared. Positive 3x, negative 2x plus 1x. Take 6 times everything by 2. 2x squared plus 2x take 12. You can see that when I foil out my factorized answer, I get the original expression. So this is correct. Okay. So that's an application of the um, flowchart above. And you can see um, how using sum and product first got me the answer pretty quick. All right, let's try the next one. So, blue. Step one, remove any common factors. Three is a common factor to all three of these terms. So put three out the front. What did I times by 3 to get 3x squared, x squared. What do I times by 3 to get negative 36x? 
negative 12x. And what do I times by 3 to get positive 108? Well, 3's into 10 is um, 3. 1 remainder, 3's into 18 is 6. So 36. So now I've got a quadratic trinomial here. We can try our factorization techniques, and I always suggest try sum and product. So what can I times together to get 36? Um, 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, Four times one nine and um, six and six. Uh, seven doesn't go into it. That's it. So those are our factor pairs, and the number in front of x is negative twelve. Um, is there any way I'm going to get negative twelve with one and three? No. Is there any way I'm going to get negative twelve with two and eighteen? Well, I could get um, sixteen or negative sixteen. No. Could I get it with 3 and 12? I could get 12, 13, 15 or 9. No. Is there any way I could get negative 12 with 4 and 9? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I could get 13 or 5. What about 6 and 6? I could get 12 or I could get negative 12, which is what I want. And why is that? Well, both of these could be negative because negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. So I know my A, well, let's double check as well, negative 6 plus negative 6. Negative 6 takes 6 is going to be negative 12, so that satisfies that. So my A is going to be negative 6. My B is going to be negative 6. Therefore... The brackets factorise to x take 6, x take 6, and I remove the common factor of 3, and you'll notice that these are the same two bracketed um, sets of terms, so it is x take 6 squared. You may also notice that I could have done perfect squares here, okay, because the square root of 36 is 6, and um, negative 12 divided by 2 is um, negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6, alright? So um, you could have used perfect squares here, but it's just easier to apply some product rule to start off with because it's more systematic there. And you don't have to think of the um, times tables in your head and then to make it a perfect square set up at the end, because you just notice that these two brackets are exactly the same, all right? I think that the perfect squares factorization rules are a little more complicated than this nice little system that you can do with some of the product. So, if we want to double check again that this factorization worked, we've got three, whoop, I do my checks in red, don't I? We've got three lots of x take six x take 6. Let's use FOIL first, so x squared, negative 6x, and um, outers, inners, negative 6x lasts, positive 36, 3x squared, negative 12x plus 36, 3 lots of everything, 3x squared, negative 36x plus 108, that's the same as that. So our factorization was correct. Alright, so that is how you deal with factorizing a quadratic that you don't know how to factorize. You apply the flowchart that was shown early in the video. Hopefully that helps you out, and I'll see you in the next video.